Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to clean the condenser unit on a condensing tumble dryer. This model I'm using today is a hot point but it should be a very similar procedure for other tumble dryers as well. If you use your condensing tumble dryer regularly it's a really good idea to clean the condenser unit out at least once a month as it will get full of bits of fluff and lots of lint and that will stop your tumble dryer being super efficient. As we are cleaning the condenser unit you want to switch it off at the mains and unplug the tumble dryer but don't unplug the kettle because it's worth having a cup of tea before we get started. Oh. The condenser unit is at the bottom of the tumble dryer so just pull this front panel outwards and the condenser is held in with these three clips. One, two, three and then it just slides out towards you. Be careful you might get a little bit of water out of here. Make sure you've got a sponge ready or an old rag. Again this is full of dirt and fibres and needs a really good clean. If we have a look at inside where the condenser comes from, we've got some dust and dirt in here. So you just need to give that a good clean with a cloth. If it's dry you can try your vacuum cleaner in there. Just get that as good as possible. Spick and span. There's a link above now about how to defrost your freezer easily in under 15 minutes. Once you've got that nice and clean, it's ready to clean the condenser unit. Now this has got a big film of dust and fibers in here. It's really important to keep this nice and clean. So the first thing you need to do is get rid of as much of this as possible before we wash it out. Otherwise, if we wash it out, there's just going to be too much debris in here and it's going to go straight down the plug hole. Now, access in here is pretty difficult, especially if you've got sausage fingers like me. So any tools you can get in here to scrape it out. If you turn it round, at the back here, you've got more debris and fibers give this a good clean again if you've got a small hand vacuum or wet and dry vac that'll be perfect this condenser unit hasn't been cleaned for about six months and it's clogged up don't let yours get this bad clean it once a month look how much dirt i've got out of here now this should be absolutely immaculate it's a good idea to clean the condensing unit at least once a month obviously depending on how much you use it i've just got this old knife here that i've taken out of the garage Ew, nerds, that looks like the knife from our cutlery drawer now this is looking much much better already once you've got it as good as you can get it take it to your shower or your sink ideally in a shower or your bath that's got a shower hose put your shower head on the highest spray setting Whilst I'm giving this a good clean, there's a link above now about how to keep your curtains super smooth on the curtain rails. If they're really sticky, that is a top tip. If you're cleaning the condenser unit in the bath, make sure you leave the plug in because you want to just clean up any of the bits of debris and the fluff and lint because you don't want that going down the plug hole because that obviously ends up in the sea. So we're just giving this a really nice clean with the shower head, spraying it in all those grooves so it goes from top to bottom and washes out any dirt and debris. Whilst you're doing that, also give it a really good shake. That is looking way better. Just leave that to dry for a little bit. If it's in the summer, it should dry nice and quickly. If not, just take a tea towel, just dry that off as much as you can. Look at that, that is a world of difference to when we took it out. Fabulous. Now I'm just going to clean up this bath water before I take the plug out because we don't want all that going into the seat. Make sure you dry this off as much as possible before we put it back into the tumble dryer. And this condenser unit is now ready to go back in. Now it goes in at a slight angle and as you push it in it should just slide into place nice and easily you've got the arrows there so make sure it's the right way up once it pushes all the way home having a bit of problem with this one don't force it it should just naturally go in 
come on there we go once it's all the way in then put those clips up so it's locked into place then close the front panel then remember to plug the tumble dryer back in and switch it on and your tumble dryer now will be much more efficient so let's just put some damp clothes in and get these nice and dry now you may still get an error light on the front saying clean the condenser but this should disappear after you start the tumble dry program and this is an hour later and the clothes are all nice and dry now it's a really good idea to clean the filter after every tumble dry cycle so remove the filter and you can see here we've got lots of lint and fluff built up on the gauze so that filter is doing its job now the easiest way to clean this is just to take your fingers and just scrape off any of the lint and fluff into a ball you can then put that straight in the dustbin once you've got off as much as you can with your fingers then take a vacuum cleaner if you've got a hand vac that'll be much easier just be careful not to damage the gauze because it's quite delicate once you've got off as much as you can you can then run it under some cold water just to give it a really good clean then make sure that's nice and dry before you pop it back in before you put the filter back it's a good idea to clean inside where the filter comes from because this can build up with lots of fluff as well and then you're ready for another round of tumble drying I hope you found that useful. Up on this side, there's a video on what to do if your dishwasher is not draining water properly. And over on this side, there's a video on how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. Thanks for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.